Hey guys, um, today I'm here to do a demo of an application. Um, it's a VNC client called VNC Mocha VNC Lite, excuse me, and that's the icon right there, VNC. Um, there's two versions. Of tr uh, it's more of a trial version, a real version. The trial version is free. It's called Mocha VNC Lite. You can go ahead and download it in the Apple Store, uh, the App Store, and um, install it to your iPod. Now, you need to set up your computer for this. So what you're gonna want to do is first go to System Preferences, and you go to under Internet and Network. You want to go to Sharing, and um, from top, second from top, second from the top, uh, it says Screen Sharing. Check it, and go to Computer Settings. Check the second option. Um, and type in a password for it and click OK. Um, if you have system preferences, if you have a system password, it will ask you to type it in to verify the change. Now you just want to exit out of that. Okay, now you want to get, now you need to get to the iPod part. Alright, so this here's my iPod. Oh, sorry. Okay, passcode. Alright, and then you want to press to tap the icon and then you want to go to menu on top edit connections and tap on any connection now for the v server IP address um, it's going to be located oops sorry about that let me try to grab the address real quick it's going to be located right there if you guys want to see um, right around here is you, you, where your address will be where my mouse is my cursor and uh, you just type it in here and then you type in your password that you made and if you're using a Mac um, turn Mac OS X server on, turn it on and then when you're done tap connect and you should connect alright and then um, yeah since I have two displays it's going to take a while but um, we'll get there All right, yeah, see it's loading. Now, um, I think you see the, the window. Um, I have a window there too. And, uh, you know. Yeah, so basically what it does is that you can basically control your computer here. If you have multiple screens, it's gonna be a little bit choppy when you're first loading it because you need a cache. And iPod Touch doesn't have a big cache, so it's going to be really slow. But it's dealable. I mean, just use one monitor or something. I don't know. I think you see that, that file right there. I have a file right there, too. Right? Yeah. Alright. So you get the idea. It's a free application. You can pay for the paid version, which I think is $6. Under $10, I believe. And then you can also input stuff using the keyboard and you have control and uh, apple key and you just tap on the keyboard again to get rid of it um, there's a mouse you could use the mouse or not use the mouse yeah and then if you can also uh, if you want to disconnect or refresh just click refresh but it will take a long time it will clear the cache and reload everything and disconnect which I'll do now so yeah then you get back to the home screen you can also use this in Portrait, uh, landscape mode, same thing, you know, same controls, but the keyboard will be a little bit wider and such. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, hope you guys like it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe to my channel and all. And yeah, so have a good weekend, guys.